Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Nova 9 and today I'll show you how to set up this device running the, what is it called, Harmony OS. So anyway, let's get started. Once you put it up for the first time, you should be presented with basically the usual welcome screen with this really odd uh, language selection. So simply tap on the language from I would say the list, but I don't know if I can call that a list, as you can see, it looks really weird. So anyway, I already have it selected English, let's get started then. And this moves us to region selection, so choose your region. Next page, uh, terms of use, so obviously you can select the first one, or you have to select the first one. And that's the only one you have to select, which brings you next to insert SIM card, which again, this is an optional step. I can insert a SIM card or completely skip this. It's there just for the network connection, so you can connect it using your SIM card or Wi-Fi or none of the above. Or, never mind, we actually do have to, for some stupid reason, connect to Wi-Fi. This device is not brand new, I already did set it up and apparently I do still need to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, it was reset also through settings, so it shouldn't be locked, so this page right here is completely effing stupid. So let me just quickly connect to network for no reason. There we go. So now that I'm connected for literally zero reason, I can finish up the setup, which brings us to data and privacy. Uh, let's be honest, it's Huawei, you don't have such a thing as privacy. Um, we can go to the next page which gives us a device protection. So here we can actually set up some kind of protection to the device. We have a couple of different methods. We have pen, pattern, password, face recognition, and a fingerprint. A fingerprint, I believe, is the under display. That's why you can't see it anywhere. Or you can simply skip it if you don't want to protect it in any kind of way. But actually, I will set up pattern. There we go. So I'm going to draw it, redraw it, done. And now I have my pattern set. And we have Huawei ID. Um, so obviously if you want to uh, utilize things like the Huawei Cloud, App Gallery, and all that uh, garbage that you don't really have a choice uh, of not really using because you have no other alternatives, uh, then you literally have to create your uh, Huawei ID, which I believe is based on your phone number. So again, give us your phone number. Uh, this, I think this is one of the methods you can create it. Um, and I believe if you're going with an email, you do need to verify it because, you know, Huawei needs to know that they have your correct information. So I'm going to be skipping it anyway. I don't really care for the dumb Huawei ID. I'm not going to be using this. So as you can see, you have this right here. Don't have Huawei ID or forget your password. And you can now select maybe later. Uh, it's literally yourself of like uh, iOS. Uh, the entire phone is basically a clone of iOS. So yeah. So from here we have some media services, whatever the heck that is. Obviously you can read exactly what this is and agree to that or select later to skip it. Mobile data services, again, same thing, read it uh, if you want some ad ID statistics. That sounds really interesting. Personalized ads, also sounds fantastic. Uh, disable that, most certainly. What else we got? Auto update. Okay, that's kind of fine. But for some reason it's also disabled. Uh, so. I want to enable your information it will be used to... Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, but uh, I prefer to not have my information being used for ads. So there we go. Uh, probably I would recommend you to disable those two as well, assuming you don't want to have basically your device spying on you and giving you ads based on basically anything that is associated with your phone and your... Well, anything, basically. Then we have enhanced services. Um, Dear customer, Yumi provides a range of enhanced services that help you get most from your device. Uh, press X to doubt, obviously, read the entire thing if you're interested, I'm not gonna go through it. At the end of the day, if you want it, go with it. If you don't, say no thanks. And user experience improvement programs. <sighs> Later. Share analytics. Okay, I, oh my godness. Location services, later. Keep your software up to date. Enable and continue. Oh no, there we go. Uh, so you have only bu one button right here, but if you don't wanna go with this, you actually have it right here in the text in blue. So. Wait, let me 
yeah, don't enable, there we go. And then we have uh, data import, so this is actually uh, first uh, like functional thing shown throughout the setup that in a while. So this will allow you to basically move your data from an older device to a new one. And it actually serves additional purpose by using their application, the phone clone. So if, uh, if you have other device that is running Android and has access to uh, Play Store, as an example, I do have my Mate 20 Pro, fairly old device, but uh, it's a good example right here. So I have access to Play Store on it and I can download apps that for instance, you might not be able to download on here. And then using phone clone, I can move that app that I installed from Play Store to this device. And even though it's not in App Store, uh, in the app gallery, you don't have access to App Store, you can still have the app, though you need a different device for that. Now, anyway, uh, moving past this, we can set it up as new, at least that's what I'm going to be doing. And we have try navigation gestures, and they've been out for half a decade, I think now. Uh, so giving you this a guide right here on how to use them is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, just close this. Uh, use gestures, yes, and let's finish this up. Uh, app gallery, so here we have a bunch of apps that the device wants to install by default. Um, I'm going to select uh, all and then deselect all because that is the quickest way to unselect all of them. It's not like I want majority of those. So I'm going to select next and this finishes up the setup. Now, as you can see throughout the setup, there was half of it was just absolute garbage uh, spam of like different services that Huawei wants you to basically agree to. Uh, just so they have more information, at least that's kind of what I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, I kind of hate that, so that's why I disabled basically everything that I possibly could. And with that being said, it also takes a little bit longer with disabling everything, because why would it be simpler? But once you go through the hassle of it, you now have a little bit less creepy device to use. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.